Hey there, how's it going? Welcome back to another Route 24 video. This is Super Neptunia RPG. If you missed the last part, go ahead, check the description. You'll find a link to it down there. Uh, this is still the first 20 minutes of the game, so you're not missing much if you're just jumping in right now. If you don't want to watch the first part or you just don't have time or whatever, maybe you're busy right now, we are starting off in a mysterious town. Our protagonist here has no idea um, who she is. She only knows her own name, but doesn't have any other memories. She was kind of breaking the uh, fourth wall, saying that it's a typical way to start a game or a story like this, but that's kind of where we're at right now. We're just talking to a bunch of the uh, NPCs here, picking up some side quests. Uh, I don't think there's a harm in taking side quests. I don't think there's a limit to them, so we might as well just take a bunch uh, and kind of passively kind of complete them as we play through the game here. I was curious about um, this game. I kind of mentioned it briefly in the last part, but I've never really been one to, uh, to play Neptunia games. I've tried a bunch of times. I picked up the first one on PS3 and then uh, there was like a couple remakes of that particular game and I played them for a bit but uh, even so I could never never like really get into them. I mean that's not to say they're they're bad games I guess maybe they're just maybe they're just not for me. Let's see what's in here. It looks like an empty house. So this game is totally like 2D. Um, kind of reminds me of the earlier, well not the earlier, but just the uh, the the PlayStation era Final Fantasy games. They had like polygons, like polygonal 3D characters just in like a hand drawn map, and you kind of navigated through the map like that. And that's kind of what that's the vibe I'm getting from here. So I'm actually taking a bunch of quests, but I'm not really actually paying attention. Kind of my bad. Let's jump into our menu here uh, and take a look at what our quests actually are. I'll just tab over here to quest. So I guess this is our active one right here. This is just um, get a bunch of magic stones. We'll get those passively as we play through the game, I assume. This guy's looking for equipment. He's like some kind of coward guy, coward guy, <laughs> coward soldier, I guess. Um, bookworm, someone's looking for a book. Kakarembo, hide and seek. So I think this is the guy who wants equipment. So his equipment is somewhere in the town. It's probably right behind him, I'm assuming. That's like an inn. Uh, I don't think we need to heal. We have uh, full health. We haven't really done anything. Okay, that was it. That was the equipment. So, there you go. If you're just jumping in of the game, then his equipment is right behind him in that house. So, in terms of main story, we're supposed to go ahead and look for taxes, I think he said. Uh, he gave us a map, and then we're supposed to, like, collect taxes. That's kind of a weird way to start an RPG, but we'll see how it goes. So since I've never played a Neptunia game beginning to end, I've only played, like, the first hour. Um, I'm not familiar with a lot of characters. I'm really sure that this game will have a lot of fan service for uh, dedicated fans, and a lot of that will be missed on me, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, so that's an enemy. It's gonna attack us, and Neptune is like, I don't have a weapon, which I do. Okay, I guess she found a stick, so problem solved. Okay. 
よーしネップネップにしてやんよー Okay, I guess this is our very first battle outside of the tutorial, so... What just happened? Okay, that was weird. I think like two voice lines just played on top of each other. Um, that was weird. Okay. So apparently that slime, it says it wants to be your friend. Yeah, so the monster is offering to be a friend. But uh, we're in the middle of something, so can't really do that. Oh, well, it says here, it's like an option. It says, Nakama ni shimasu ka? So, do you want to be friends? And, um... Oh, you know what? Actually, I can't uh, tab over. I can't even select height. I can't select yes. So, it looks like it's, um... Looks like it's gonna be a choice, but it's not a choice. You have no choice. You can't, you can't be friends with a monster. Unfortunately. Alright, uh, equipment tutorial. I think this is pretty standard stuff if you've played an RPG in the last 20 years. Okay, so R1 is a dash, I guess. I'm not sure what that does. Oh, sorry, it dashes. I don't know why I just said that. Uh, square is slash, so I guess you can attack on the field, and then if you. If you hit like an enemy with your slash, you can start a fight uh, with some extra AP. It looks like maybe maybe enough for a free attack. So R1 is dash, and then there's your uh, attack. Okay, I guess you can air. You can air dash. Okay. Man, you get a lot of tutorials. Uh, in RPGs. It's been a couple months since I last played an RPG, so I just kind of forgot about this. So when you're in battle, I guess pushing the options button on your controller uh, will open the menu and you can use items and check your status and run away from the fight. So from the looks of thing, if you looks of things, if you look at the AP gauge in the bottom right, I think your attack is a minimum of two bars. Until then, you actually can't attack at all. Skill and ability. Okay, so there are skills, I guess, on equipment. And by learning those skills, you can still continue to use them even when you're not equipping them. So it's pretty uh, similar, I think, to the skill system in Tales of Vesperia. And probably some other games. I'm only referring to Tales of Vesperia right now because I recently played it. Uh, because the remaster came out in January, and I picked that up day one. So how is this game so far? I guess it's not... Bad. I mean, um, it is pretty different from the other Neptunia games, at least from what my understanding of Neptunia games are. It's all 2D, so, um, you know, pretty different. Okay, so there are magic stones in towns and dungeons. Uh, once you get a magic stone, like, it won't re reappear again in the same place. Uh, once you have enough, you can trade them in for special items, it looks like, by talking to. Uh, some NPCs. So I think the English name for this game is kind of clever. I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is referencing Super Mario RPG, which is a game that I really enjoy. Um, I think it was at one point my favorite RPG as a kid growing up. But the, the Japanese name for this game isn't bad either. Brave Neptunia, I think it... It's... to me it's fine, I think it... it sounds alright. 
I'm about to die, by the way. I'm at 21 health. Okay. Let's just heal up. I should have some healing items. I'm not actually 100% sure. I I'm sure I've picked some up. Uh, sure. Okay. So we have two items in our inventory right now. This will heal you 20% of your max uh, HP value, and this will revive you and then um, give you 20% of your HP. Do I... Am I interested in a challenge? So there are hidden, like, magic stone switches in the world. If you, like, attack one of the switches, magic stones will appear. If you can grab all of them within a time limit, then your challenge is complete. Uh, by completing your challenge, you'll get a bunch of these magic stones. So, you know, that's pretty cool. So try to get 25 and then come back. So I think this is one of the dudes where you can trade in your magic stones. So I think he's referring to this thing. So that's probably the switch here. This soundtrack is pretty cool. Um, it's not quite what I expected. Okay, so I'm just assuming we're going to need to grab all of these four to five. Oh, there's the last one, top right corner there. Oh, uh, no. Four seconds. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make it. Sad. That's uh, really disappointing. I guess we'll just double back there. Okay, one more try. There we go, okay. I guess you needed to use the air dash for that one. How many do I have? I have 11 out of 25, so that's my current active quest, I guess. I kind of like this art style. I think what they were going for is like a storybook kind of aesthetic and... Because I mean like in the in the beginning of the game, like it opens with some kind of book. So that's probably what they're going for. And I think it's well done. Okay, I have 24, so I just need one more magic stone and I can talk to that guy again. But yeah, me and Compo Heart Games, we don't really get along all that well. I've tried a bunch. I've really tried a bunch um, throughout my time playing JRPGs, and I've never sunk in more than a couple hours. I just don't know what it is. But this doesn't seem that bad. I mean, like, it's, cl it's clearly different, and I think it's immediate, like, immediately shows in the first, like, half hour. It feels like it could be a Vita game though, just the way that it plays and the way that it's presented. Like if you took this and you shrunk it down to a portable, that it wouldn't be that weird to me. And this game's like only on PS4. It might get a PC release when it comes out in English, just because that's uh, the trend with these. When they when it gets localized to English, like you'll you'll see a P a PC version. Even so, I think I really think it would it would it feel it would feel good on a on a portable console. So maybe the Switch is a possibility if a port ever happens. But I don't know. So where are we? Oh, there's a magic stone up there. I wonder if I can grab that? I wonder how I can get there. Oh, probably from that cliff up there. So I think it's out of reach for now. Like, there was another magic stone in that, sh in that shop that I couldn't get to. Okay. <laughs> so as far as I know, the slimes that we're fighting right now, or that slime at least, I think that's a recurring enemy. 
in the Neptunia series. I do recall seeing it around. The rat thing, though, not, not sure about that. Oh, this is the dude who, like, needed equipment. The coward... Coward guy. <laughs> really bad at English right now. He doesn't know how to defeat monsters. Can I show him how? Oh, hey there. <laughs> so little. Do I have to fight that right now? Like... Oh, I probably should have slashed him. Oh, well. I hope I won't die. It's not a good start. Okay, this is... Oh, well, they're not doing that much damage. They are beating me up, though. They're really getting up on me. I guess now would be a good time to check out the item menu. R2, I guess. Uh, kaifuku. So we want some... Kaifuku. Does that actually work? I'm... Okay, sorry. The menu's kind of confusing. So you squeeze R2 to tap over, like, categories. And then you squeeze R1 or R2. Oh, I'm sorry. L2 or R2 to s switch, like items and run away and stuff, and then L1 and R1 to switch through your categories. And then you hit circle to select the item that you want. And then you hit the face button for the character that you want. This guy is really, really vicious. Oh, you know what? I just realized that I had like a lot of AP just stacked up. I probably could have repeatedly attacked him. It's all good. We all... Uh, we survived. So, hey, I, I did the thing for you. Is there anything over here? Question marks. That's what's over here. Okay, I guess we're in like another town, maybe? This might be the same town, it's just the other side of the town, I think. Is this the same guy? How did you... I right, whatever, dude. So he's like saying that he's not, he's not cut out for the silkworms. Um, but he doesn't, he wants to quit? Oh yeah, he doesn't have the guts to tell like his superior that he wants to quit. Can you tell my superior for me? Sure, I guess. Alright, well... Okay, hold on, we're getting a scene, apparently. Um, so this is a guy from the Silkworm, and he's calling us late and stuff. Okay, so we're here to go and collect taxes, and he's like, I want you to pay attention and, like, learn. Nepusu. Nepusu. Okay, um, this person is saying that the game... Well, I'm assuming it's the game, but the taxes that we took from last month was really good. Uh, feeding Sama gives it five stars. So she is collecting taxes right now. She's in the silkworms. ありがとうございます。これが今月分です。新作のゲームカセットです。お納めください。早や。ありがとう。キッチリナーでするのは伊住民パチパチ。<laughs> 
I really don't like this person's voice. It's not, not a voice that I want to hear all the time. So yeah, the person just gave her another game. Imadoki Kasato. So she's like saying, um, well, okay. So in Japanese, like what we call a game cartridge is called a game cassette in Japanese. So I think Neptune is surprised that like we're dealing with cartridges still. Right, okay, so he's saying, like, what are you talking about? Um, a cartridge is, like, the latest and greatest. So, you know, the, the, ed, the bleeding edge of technology here. So she says, yeah, so that's kind of kind of the joke here. So she says, like, a cartridge is, like, the newest game? That's weird. Something's not right. I never want to hear that again in my life. Okay, so she's saying like... Mm, he has to be somewhere, so he's... That lady is like, we'll switch, I'll look after her. So she's asking if we are like the famous, not the famous, but that rumored person who lost her memories. Okay. Um, so she's like, oh, well, you lost your memory, but like, you, you know your own name. And she's like, well, uh, it's on the box. It's on the box of this game. Okay, so like that cartridge from this person uh, got 4.5 stars. All okay, yeah, all hail feeling. When this game comes out in English, I'm curious to know like how they're going to like really localize it. Are they going to keep it as like all hail, or like will they make it like um, you know, like glory to? So she's giving us a warning. She says, like, you shouldn't join the silkworms. Something, like, is bad. Bad's gonna happen to them. Where did she go? She just, you just missed her, man. Yep. Okay, so he's like, I don't really remember her, but was she from this base? And then he's like, she was pretty, like, she was, yeah, good looking. Your, your secret thoughts are leaking through. Okay, so he wants us to greet that person with the annoying voice. Surara-sama? So it's like the rule for every newcomer to greet Surara-sama. Okay, so she is... She like saw someone? Okay, so yeah, there's like a certain person who is like grabbing the attention of Filin Sama. 
She's supposed to get him, capture him. Uh, okay, so we're supposed to greet Surasama. She went to capture someone. And we'll, I guess that's it for now. Um, Alright, you know what? That's a pretty decent place to take a break. When we come back, we'll do the things that we're supposed to do, I guess. We'll go look for that person, the greeter. Uh, if you don't want to miss the next part, keep it on the channel. It'll be up within a couple of days. Let me know what you thought. Leave a comment down below. You can follow me on Twitter if you want. Um, you'll find a link to my profile in the description. If you have some extra time, why not head on over to the channel page and find another video to enjoy. If you like Japanese games, that's pretty much all we play. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again. Take care.